Yo, what is up you guys? It's your boy here and today I'm gonna be reacting to um the end of Super Horror by um Super Horror. So um this video um is a bit more serious and um we're gonna talk about it, even though it's like a, a little bit of uh, over a week. But um yeah guys, everything will be in the description down below. Make sure to subscribe to Super Horror Bro. Without further ado, let's begin. Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and I'm here with a bit of a more serious video today. A very serious video really. And it's talking about the new uh, COPPA laws, which are going to affect YouTube soon from the FTC, huh. which is the Federal Trade Commission. It's an American governing body, which of course deals with laws to protect children against advertisements and data collection uh, in the United States and indeed around the world now with the advent of this law. Now, this law came into place, I believe, in the 90s, like 1998, I think. And it's right. revised in every 10 years or so. They've decided to revise it early because of a lawsuit between YouTube and themselves uh, that ran a few months. And I think YouTube settled at around 170 million because basically YouTube was running advertisements towards children when they shouldn't be. It is illegal to advertise targeted ads to any child below the age of 13. Now, instead of YouTube saying, okay, we're going to find a way to sort of better police this within our own sort of company, uh, they've put the sort of brunt of this on content creators like myself and basically anybody covering anything that is remotely considered uh, family friendly or teen friendly or whatever else, so, such as gaming, you know, arts and crafts, toy channels, stuff like that. I'm going to go through a few of these guidelines today in this video. Please watch this video. It is very serious. I may have to stop doing YouTube as I do it now in the next six weeks, depending on the severity of these laws. Because if you actually are uh, found to be running ads on content, uh, letting YouTube collect data on content that the FTC deem suitable for children under the age of 13, you can be levied with a fine of up to $42,000. And it's now, serious and real. It actually be that high for most people, but they've made it very clear in a recent press conference they are looking to do this, and they aren't going to shy away from levying these fines against creators. I'm going to play you a little clip from right. that conference right now. Um, so the analogy that I think of in perfect is um, the expression about shooting fish in a barrel and YouTube is the barrel, and the content creators are the fish. So as you can see, they almost seem quite malicious in their intent to go after these creators. And, hmm. you know, I'm sure they're just doing their jobs. I think they just jaded people that don't quite understand, you know, that games, for example, video games can appeal to people of all ages, and uh, probably don't understand that if a game is teen-rated, for example, something like Bendy Machine that I teen. cover, or Five Nights, most horror games, hold on, I gotta pause here for a second. Most horror games are covered on this channel are rated T slash T dash M by certification board, uh, the S ESRB, meaning they are unsuitable for anyone under the age of 13, but will FTC officers care? Like Probably not. That I cover. It is aimed at obviously an audience above 13, but younger people will obviously gravitate towards that content too. So basically we have three options. We can rate our videos as made for kids, not made for kids or made for adults only 18 plus if you uh, put your content as made for adults only 18 plus it's demonetized straight away if you put your content as made for kids it is mostly demonetized completely now you also lose comments notifications uh, and your video will not be shared by youtube or show up in search results so basically it wrecks the community aspect the searchability aspect of your video and it stops it from generating up to 90% of its intended revenue. So the only way to be safe is to say my content's not made for kids. Now for me as a horror channel, I don't make my content for kids, especially as I do like fact and theory videos where the language in the video, while I don't swear a lot, I use a lot of big words, a lot of stuff that I basically, uh, a lot of my kind of theories and stuff are quite deep and quite dark to dealing with stuff like death you know, sometimes stuff like resurrections and stuff like that, and uh, witchcraft, and you know, my mm -hmm. theories that I make basically are aimed at a teen and above audience, like the games they're based around, you know, and most of my audience is 17 plus, as I've seen on my own analytics. Uh, there's only 10% below that threshold. Still, it worries me, you know, the FTC may step in and see that while my content is being aimed at people above the age of 13, well above the age of 13, uh, and I am a horror channel, they still might say, well, 
you're making stuff to do with these games that we feel may appeal to kids, and so we're basically going to fine you, you know, God knows how much money uh, to put it right. That's crazy to me, you know, that's insane, and I think the FTC need to revise their guidelines, they need to be more clear with them, and they also need to tell us as creators, hey, we're not going to instantly fine you, we'll give you a warning so that you know, basically, if you are making content we deem is appealing to kids and advertising on it, so that we get a slap on the wrist first and not an instant fine, that's just insane. Uh, they're fining more for this kind of stuff than you would get if you were drunk driving, it's just mad. So what is the subject matter mm -hmm. that appeals to kids to the FTC? You know, what are they saying we shouldn't include in our videos if we want to monetize them? Well, it goes as follows. It's a subject matter that is appealing to children. Kids corner. jokes, music, kids games, video and computer games, children's TV shows or stars, cartoon characters, sports, stories, toys, children's books, fantasy, children arts and crafts, pets, products primarily purchased or consumed by kids like snack food or cereal. Like, that's pretty much most stuff that you would cover on YouTube, right? And they even believe, that, as they said themselves, that YouTube is a platform for kids when that's absolutely not the case. YouTube was never intended for kids. In fact, even to have a account on YouTube, you need to be over the age of 13. So this is complete nonsense from you. Okay, I gotta stop right here. Um, There's something I wanna say and, and the fact that um, Ego, what I'm trying to say is that um, how do I say this? They have YouTube kids, basically, but I never thought of it before. All right, let's keep going. DC, and they really need to look into things. So basically, I'm scared to make videos now, guys, because I feel like if I make a video on something like Dark Deception, Five Nights at Freddy's, Bend the Ink Machine, they could easily look at that video, and despite the age rating of the game, despite the fact that I'm dealing with dark subject matter and speaking in mature language during the video, they could still say, hey, this video could appeal to kids, so we feel like it is made for kids, which to me would be irresponsible. I would never want to advertise most of my videos to people under the age of 13, because I feel like my videos with the subject matter they deal oh, with oh no, are mostly oh, not suitable no, no. for that no. age range at all. So it kind of puts me in a all weird right. headspace. All right. I want to say my videos no. are, you know, suitable for people over 13 only, but at the same oh, time, Sorry, I don't want to make myself liable for these, you know, massive fines by saying they're not made for kids. So it's almost safer to say my whole channel's made for kids and just axe for revenue instantly uh, than it is to take the chance with the FTC. Even though I believe my content is not made for kids in any way, shape or form. So I've got this problem, guys. I've got this huge problem. Lots of creators have been talking about this recently. I've been talking with some of them behind the scenes. I won't name any names, but everyone's been panicking a little bit about this, and with good reason. Some people are misinformed and think this is to do with the whole Elsa Gate thing, you know, the whole child predator thing on online. It has nothing to do with that. It's nothing to do with censorship oh. online, kids watching inappropriate videos. It has nothing to do with that. This is everything to do with advertising to kids and collecting data on uh, of what kids are watching uh, on certain videos. That's what the Federal Trade Commission is all about. So what can you do, guys? Well, I think we need to fight back against this. I'm going to leave a link to a chain. Hold on, let me read this. Sorry, guys, for pausing. Uh, I want to make it clear that in principle, COPA and the FTC are good forces working to protect the children online. The current implementation of these laws is what needs to reform at this time. Please help act on this. Change.org petition below. Please sign for that to try and change this. Also, I'm going to leave a link down below where you can write a comment to the FTC. 